Uh, we're recording. We're missing Soros, Teeters, and what, a vacant lieutenant spot? Well, actually, instead of Buckman, we have two officers here, uh, Zwicky and... Yeah, you just stepped over. Uh, Wernicke. Wernicke? Okay. okay. Mr. Larson is not here yet, and Sorrell and Teeters are and Teeters. attending virtual. Are they out? Yeah. Yep. Oh, good. Yes, so we're for them. Uh, welcome, Commissioners Teeters and Sorrell. <laughs> How are you? Can you hear us okay? Okay. Uh, call meeting of December 18th to order. Uh, let's keep the rolls open for a bit for. Uh, Mr. Larson. Otherwise, uh, everyone is here. Uh, we do have, I think, a substitute for uh, the lieutenant? Correct. Okay. Uh, approve of the agenda of December 18th, 2023. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. The ayes have it. For the minutes of October 16th, 2023. Motion to approve. Move to approve. There's a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed nay. The ayes have it. Next item of business is item E, general business consideration of possible action on the reports by the police department on the November and December 2023 traffic enforcement unit traffic safety plan. And Police Department has provided a copy of that plan and their report in the packet. Right. Uh, They're looking again at targeted enforcement, uh, primarily along the East Mason Street corridor, as well as military in Mason on the west side due to uh, a larger number, of or larger number of complaints that have arisen there. So uh, officers are here to answer any questions on the report you may have. Uh, if there are no questions, the recommendation would be to receive the place on file. Are there any questions? The well, military seems to be a new one. Uh, I thought that was on the list before. Most of them are East Mason. Yeah, yeah. well, the yeah. last couple of months it's been primarily around East Mason. Right. But there have been 17 crashes over at uh, Mason Military. So 17? It's bumping up in, in the Just those two months? Uh, Three years. Oh, in a three years. Right? Yeah, so it's a three year, uh, three year average. So there must have been something just recently that happened that helped bump that one back up into. But uh, primarily, East Mason, generally from Webster down to Bellevue, continues to be the right. corridor that uh, is getting the most targeted enforcement. Right. Any questions? No. Motion to receive and place on file. Is there a second? <laughs> <laughs> All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay, the ayes have it. Uh, item number two. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. Be safe out there. Thank you. Initial request consideration of possible action to review the intersection of Nicolay Drive and East Shore Drive regarding traffic concerns. Request by Alder Grant. Okay, Alder Grant put in a communication to look at the intersection of East Shore Drive and Nicolay Drives. Um, this is an area that we uh, tend to get some complaints on, uh, not necessarily with regard to crashes themselves, but more, along, uh, more so due to near crashes or near misses, depending on how you look at it. Um, so we had staff, Tom Sherman's went out there and conducted 12-hour uh, turning movement counts, consistent with our policy for intersection uh, evaluation. Came back with the, the traffic counts and compared for uh, signal warrants, and has prepared a memo that's included in the packet. Uh, what he summarized is for signal warrants, um, all warrants except school crossing, coordinated signal system, and intersection near night grade crossing were evaluated because there is no school nearby, there are no coordinated signals nearby, nor is there an intersection right. with a, a rail crossing. Um, warrants five and nines, uh, again, didn't 
what didn't apply because of the lack of a school. Um, he observed no substantial delay in traffic entering from East Shore. Uh, we did move one of the signs on East Shore back from the intersection slightly to provide better sight lines looking to your left or north along Nicolay Drive, which has been positively received by the neighborhood and by the alder out there. Uh, Mr. Sherman's also talked to the manager of the Shores Apartments, which is directly opposite Nicolay Drive, mm -hmm. or, or East Shore Drive on Nicolay. Their stop sign for leaving the parking lot was substandard in size, and he requested that they upsize that. It's a private sign, so we really have no regulatory authority, but it was a suggestion to them for better conspicuity for their tenants. Um, indicated that traffic volumes are slightly less than the last time we did an intersection study here in 2010. We don't meet the traffic warrants out here, so a recommendation is to receive the report and place it on file with no additional intersection improvements. Agreed. I think you that that stop sign did wonders out there for the sight line. Yeah. I agree. Because I drive it quite a lot. So. Is there a motion? Motion to receive and place on the file. Is there a second? Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Thanks for doing that one. The ayes have it. Thank you. Uh, item three, initial request, consideration with possible action to the request by Alder Stevens to modify the parking restrictions on Morrow Street, east of North Henry Street. Alder, do you want to take that one? I'll refer this over. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the packet, we have provided a graphic showing on the top the existing condition. Uh, in red on the north side of the street, what you will see is from a point 60 feet west of the intersection to a point 135 feet east of the intersection is the current no parking restriction. On the south side, directly opposite where the Morrow Street uh, label is, east of the intersection, you see kind of a grayish, a light gray rectangular roofline of the building. That is part of the old Jones Motor Company. So as we flip to the second set of photographs. I didn't bring mine. Can we get it on the screen at all? I can definitely try. I left my tag at home, unfortunately. This is my district. Why didn't you come talk to me? This one's up. I'm just kidding. Easy yeah. going. <laughs> we just need a yes. <laughs> <laughs> we share a district. Mostly. I have more territory. Yeah, I was going to say, I know your lines. I definitely don't. I got one up, more. One more award. I talked about this <laughs> twice. <laughs> Staff took care of the rest. Okay, so this is the existing condition showing 60 feet west mm -hmm. up to the intersection and again to a point 135 feet east. This building here is part of the Jones Motor Company or the former Jones Motor. So when you look south along the street, there are these three large overhead doors. Um, I don't know what the current use of that building is, but I have toured the inside of it in the past. It's large enough that I don't think you could get a tractor trailer combo in there, but you could definitely get the tractor in there. It's large enough to hold a fire engine mm -hmm. for point of reference. The only concern that we have is if we wind up with complaints of vehicles exiting those doors, making a left hand turn to go eastbound, and we wind up with vehicles parked in those stalls there that would conflict with that movement. I don't think that's going to happen. It's always a possibility. So we just want to make sure that that possibility is there. But other than that, staff has no, uh, no reservations about changing this and shortening the no parking zone to a distance of 60 feet out of the intersection. So staff recommends that on a 90-day trial, we remove the existing parking restriction on the north side, 
of Morrow Street from a point 60 feet west of Henry to a point 135 feet east, and that on a 90-day trial, we establish a new no parking zone on the north side of Morrow from a point 60 feet west of Henry to a point 60 feet east of Henry, thereby shortening up the no parking zone by 75 feet. Okay, does that mean it's your approval? Mm -hmm. Okay. Motion to approve. Perfect. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Uh, item number four, initial request, consideration with possible action on the request of Alderman Weary to study the need for a three-way stop condition at the intersection of Western Avenue and Mary Hill Drive. Steve? Okay, we have included in your packet for reference sake a copy of the always stop control warrant analysis at the same intersection that former traffic uh, engineer Hansen prepared yeah, for that was just a couple of years ago, wasn't it? October of 2020, three yeah. years ago. Okay. Uh, subsequent to that, upon getting the request again, Tom Sherman's went in and evaluated the existing site conditions and nothing in the existing site conditions has changed in the past three years. So it didn't meet the warrants then, it continues not to meet the warrants. However, Mr. Sherman's did go out and modify a couple of signs out there, um, with a, uh, installed a 24, some 24 by uh, 30, 25 mile an hour speed limit signs. So there's two new speed limit signs in each direction on existing Wisconsin public service polls. That was completed on October 25th. Okay. So Good. staff recommends uh, receiving and placing on file uh, with the notation that uh, existing signage was, uh, has already been installed. My only question about that one, is that just because of all the school traffic over there? Most that likely, the yes. That's the backside of uh, Notre Dame and Franklin. And Franklin, yes. Yes, I'm assuming it's dumb teenagers. And, I'm sorry, unintelligent teenagers <laughs> and parents picking kids up and driving them. <laughs> we 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 surmise that it's probably parents and students who are anxious to get to their destination. Yes, yes. That was my assumption also, because I don't think it would be an issue at that intersection otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Motion uh, to receive on place and file. <laughs> With the caveat added. Yeah, yeah. Uh, updated signs. Is there a second? I'll second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. The ayes have it. Uh, number five, consideration of possible action on the request of the Department of Public Works that the city enter an agreement with Procter & Gamble on request to install a rectangular rapid flashing beacon system at Quincy Street and Eastman Street. Steve? So with this, we have received a handful of these types of requests in the <laughs> past. And the, the utilization of RRFBs is gaining in popularity as Federal Highways uh, has allowed for their interim uh, utilization. So what I'm going to do is share the screen again. Can you still hear us okay, Pat? Okay, I can't hear you. Yeah, that's probably why Peter's asked are we muted. Hmm. Can you try again? I'm testing one of these. There we go. Okay. Now I got you. We lost Peter's one. The two rooms. Again? Yeah, you're good. The rooms, the two rooms that we use, uh, that staff uses for for meetings, have different speaker settings on them, and I I was using the speaker settings we would use down to 207, so that was on me. Yeah, okay, because, yeah, Commissioner Peters had a couple of questions on the previous thing, and um, it was pretty clear we were muted, so I think he's kind of failed on us, but... All right. So... Uh, anyway, so okay. Steve, could you get back to Peters on that? Yes, I definitely will. 
Um, so going back to this RRFB for Procter & Gamble, there are existing crosswalks uh, on the north Okay, so only on the north side, th this is, uh, if you recall, Eastman Avenue is split by the rail at this location. So there is an existing crosswalk here, but with the rail crossing hardware, um, there are some concerns that an RFB will get lost in the background. So Sherman's has been working with staff at Procter & Gamble at, to find an appropriate and suitable location where the RFB will function as desired uh, and not get confused with the background of the traffic, uh, the train signal uh, crossing hardware. And they have come to, they've come to agreement on where that would be. Uh, so very similar to the approach we have taken with Green Bay Packaging, Bell and HSHS St. Mary or St. Vincent, Georgia Pacific, and we're still negotiating an MOU with uh, Imperial Systems here on Madison. Uh, staff recommends approval of the request subject to the city entering into a memorandum of understanding between the city and Procter and Gamble of the same form and substance as those entered into with other parties. Okay. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Uh, Commissioner Charles, do you have any questions? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Motion to approve as recommended. Okay. Is a motion to approve? Is there a second? A second. Moved and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Pull aye. Nay. The ayes have it. Okay. The next meeting was scheduled for January 15th. I have a conflict that day. Um, is it possible we could reschedule that meeting for the either the 8th or the 29th of January. You, commission, tell me your pleasure. I can make you, I'll, I'll make anything worth it, you no folks. Problem with you. Commissioner Sarles, does either of those dates work for you? Yeah, I don't, uh, either of them works for me. Okay, how They both work for me too. Okay, uh, what would be most convenient to you, Steve, of those two? It looks like everybody else Maybe is. the 20th and the post end of the month. No, I'll, I got a problem there too. Oh, that you said the 20th. The 29th. Oh, 29th. 29th, yeah. Should we do the 29th? Is everybody okay with that? 29th would keep you consistent on meeting immediately prior to Common Council, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Well, let's let's shoot for the 29th. January 29th. Yeah. Okay. We will we'll mark that. Okay. Thank you. Is there a motion to adjourn? I will make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Nay. The ayes have it. Quick meeting. Aye. Thank you, everyone. Aye. Have a great Thank Christmas. You. Thank you.